the we want to the wolves. Gotta try them. Gotta try my wolves. Gotta try my wolves. Can I lose? One thing about these tiers, well, no, okay, let's keep playing again. But sometimes that third tier, they'll they'll mess you over, man. Put you in there with um, they'll put you in there with tier one competition, which is messed up. Cause you got a weak team, you got to play against a strong Golden State, Milwaukee, and somebody like that. Uh, we got Super Savage 530. He on PS5, man. Crossplay, baby. Let's go. We gotta deal with the Joker, man. Can we stop the Joker? Can we stop the Joker? Let's find out. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Brand new season. So glad to have you with us on this journey. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson joining us from the sidelines. Go to work. Go force. So the Nuggets with the tip. Pass to Jokic. Out to Gordon. There's the three. And Caldwell well Pope gets it to go. A day like no other. Opening night in the NBA. Doris, what are you most looking forward to this season? Well, the long, hot summer is over finally. To me, one of my favorite things is Aww. watching the rookies. Which of those guys will make an immediate impact? Which guy gets the most time? And then, you know, some Bye second out. rounders always wow. seem to surprise us. The diamonds in the rough that are perhaps a little more prepared than we thought. Down low. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Pass to Porter. Shot clock at six. To the inside. Well, Mike Conley has always been elite defensively. I know small frame, but boy, can he contest shots. Here's Towns. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Those advanced numbers for Carl Anthony Towns are incredible doors. NBA, obviously those advanced numbers are something all organizations look at. Cat's got one of the top offensive ratings in NBA history. And listen, his three-point stroke opens up the floor. He can also put ah, it on man. the deck. He's very efficient. There's a lot to like about Cat. What's striking about Carl Anthony Towns is his resiliency. He'll bounce back from challenges. He's got a very impressive positive attitude. Conley with the ball. Caldwell Pope covering. Ah, Edwards can't hit. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Now here's Edwards. And he banks in the layup. Well, we know this about Anthony Edwards. This guy, one of the stronger guards in this game. That's a tough finish. Now here's Jokic. 4-3. Edwards pulls it in. 
Boy, the offensive flow just isn't there right now. One for five to start the game. Here's Conley. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Jokic. Oh, how you get on that one? And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. And Grant, last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP hey, award fuck. more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. Now here's Gordon. Back to Jokic. To the middle. Here's Porter. The Nuggets need to get one up. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. A solid read from Porter Jr. When he makes quality passes like this, it helps his team's overall chemistry. Outside McDaniels. It's Edwards on the wing. And he drives in. And Edwards slams it in. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Ah! Stolen by Jokic. And here's the fast break. Right, and right, then right, Porter right, right. with the dunk. And nice read by Porter Jr. Surveys the floor and gets in the right spot to finish. Right side Conley. Pass to Edwards. Shoots from the right block. Jokic grabs the board. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Nuggets. Outside Murray. Fires the three. Pure from three-point range. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And Minnesota calls time here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta figure it out, y'all. We gotta figure it out. Get beat up. Come on, come on, come on with this shit, bro. I guess he used the quitting or something, I guess. Uh, so it's Minnesota now. Yeah, still out there. Trailing by eight. Pass to Towns. Don't go out of bounds now. Don't go out of bounds. And it's Towns with the power finish. You call that moving with intent and purpose. The big time finish by Carl Anthony. Now Murray. And he lobs it up. Oh. Gordon can't hit. Well, he saw the play coming together, but the timing was just a little off. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. All right. Now here's Towns. Towns, double team. They get the rebound. Ah. Great contest by the defender, but that's a dunk you've got to put down in his face. Pass to Caldwell Pope. No good from outside. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. Now Towns. Back to Milton. Ah. From behind the arc. Oh, and so it's the Denver Nuggets hey. with a six point lead at the close of the quarter and their defense has stood out wreaking havoc for the opposition more NBA on two case.
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, oh. we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Nuggets here in this one? The aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian, the last five uh, I, 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 awards I, I, have gone to foreign I, players. Nikola Jokic told me, I think we're showing that there's a lot more talent in the world. It's not just USA, and I think that's the beauty. We are giving all the kids a chance and an opportunity to see that they can make it. B.A.? Mm, I love that story. Outstanding. Thanks, Allie. Here's Edwards. Sinks his third bucket. He's three for six now. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing oh, oh, oh. take fouls has made the game much, much better. He challenges the defender and throws it down with two hands. Man, just straight power on that one. Clear the deck. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Now here's Gordon. Carries it down low. Wow. And they've really been more consistent from the field this wow. quarter. Up top, Anderson. He got a piece of it. How about the timing of Aaron Gordon? This guy has got the ability to rise up and send it back. That's three buckets in a row off assist. And finally getting to full strength last season. Yeah, the on, Nuggets on, showing on, how on, great lane, they can man. be. On, on, the franchise's first ever championship, B.A. When you look at all their top players just entering ah. their primes. Plenty of runway left ahead of them. Here's Porter. Ooh, good work defensively by Milton. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Pass to Porter. Back to Gordon. Ah. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gordon's gotten four this quarter. How about the touch and the under control nature of what Aaron Gordon is doing close to the cup? That's nice. Kick out to Brown. Well. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Here's Caldwell Pope. From outside, off the mark. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Now a timeout called by Denver. Nowhere, baby. We're just going to figure it out. But don't like he put Joker on the bench. That's one problem I have. Got to deal with him the whole game. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Oh, uh, come on. <clears throat> And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Pass to Najee. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, taking that shit out. Here's Jackson. He's guarded by Conley. Here's Brown. Take it out. Clock at six. There's a screen. Come get it, come get it. From downtown. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Connell to shoot threes. Huh. And here's Gobert. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yo, yo, yo. A 12-point game. 
Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Raptors at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. And that game will mark the end of a four-game trip. Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. Ah, and that one misses. The shot is quicker, quicker, quicker. And he sinks the second. Well, we know Rudy Gobert is going to go down as not only one of the greatest defenders of his generation, but of all time. Just look at the number of times this guy has won Defensive Player of the Year. He is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, pass to Edwards. Nice move. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Oh, fight him back, fight him back, fight him back. Edwards got back. six here in the quarter. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Hey, man. 59 seconds left in the first half of this game. Ah, oh, Jackson good job, good for three. Job, good job. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Here's Conley. Still without a bucket. Edwards for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Boy, what a good looking stroke. Ready on the catch, Anthony Edwards. That jumper is nice. And the ball out of play. The Timberwolves will have it. Fight him back, baby. Fight him back. Oh, we do. Day one, the Timberwolves trail. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. The kick out to Conley. Towns outside. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Well, Carl oh. Anthony Towns will mix his spots as a scorer, that time doing work inside. They set the screen. Here's Najee. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. Oh, and ahead, the first man, half baby. comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Nuggets on top. Up four. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Even though the Timberwolves made the playoffs in 2023, Grant, they had their share of trials. Yeah, B.A., they had to integrate new players. I mean, Cat missed 51 games due to a calf strain. There was that incident with Gobert and Kyle Anderson. And, of course, Jaden McDaniels fracturing his hand. Ah. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. After their big trade with Rudy Gobert, it's hey, taken a while for the Wolves to gel. Gobert said, quote, it just comes with the time and trust. Basketball is never perfect, but we can punish all kinds of defenses by making the right play and finding the open man. With that mindset, we are going to keep getting better. I'm confident in our abilities. Brian? Well, that, that's the way you have to look at it, Allie. Thank you. How about the creativity, the athleticism? That's a rare combination for a guy his size. Go to work, Cat. To the paint. And then ah, Porter nice, with nice, the nice, dunk. Nice, he nice, can nice, really nice. read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. And time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially yeah. towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. graphics y'all look at the graphics Let me get back to it. the coach got on Air Force One right that's some shit but on play
<laughs> what he don't understand is I'm patient, man. I'm very patient. Man. So he can sit there and this shit run all you want, man. He just better hope I want to get the lead, man. If I, don't get, if I get the lead, I'm doing the same thing he's doing. That's how you deal with people like that, man. You just go ahead and get the lead, you do what they doing. Let them watch it. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Pass to Gobert. And here's Edwards. This one for three. Jokic grabs the board. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other teams. In the oh, hey, how about that? The quickness of Porter Jr.'s drive gives him the edge there. Defenses just can't react fast enough. And it's powered home by Towns. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. Inside. Here's Jokic. Ah, Jokic muscles oh, it down. He is just an excellent pick and roll option. Jokic always uses his high basketball IQ to find and execute the right play. Oh, Ooh, stolen by Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rips down the breakaway slam. Smart. Get out I do like what I'm saying on my team. Finish the break with authority. I don't think anyone was catching him on that play. That is unbelievable. They get it back. Ah, oh, Outside McDaniels. Outside Edwards. Second chance effort. <laughs> and so and he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Nikola Jokic. And Doris oh, Anthony Edwards has lived up to the expectations. He continues to get ah. better each year. He does, B.A., and let's remember, as a former number one pick, that carries a lot of weight and responsibility. But Ant is a guy who embraces that pressure. He wants the spotlight, and he puts in the work right, to be right, great. Right. His future right. is bright. Anthony Edwards is one of the most explosive athletes in the league. He can burn you with his perimeter jump shooting. He's dangerous wow. in transition. And look out, folks, the upside is there. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. No. Outside, Anderson. Back to Towns. Ah. Six on the shot clock. And Contavious Caldwell Pope picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Foul yeah, he, he still right. was moving at the point of contact. Gobert on the high post. And here's Edwards. Three on the clock. Inside, Gobert puts it in. I'll fight him. Fight this motherfucker. Listen, man. at just over seven feet, we know Gobert's going to be terrific on the glass. To the paint. And Jokic nice, throws nice, it nice, down. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, nice one handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Timeout call, the Timberwolves. A little rush to head time. This is bullshit right here, man. Hey, I fucking do chili tonight. Like, come on, y'all. That damn girl is up, man. Ah. Do like what I'm seeing on my goddamn wolves, though, man. I can, I can ball with the wolves, man. I do like what I'm seeing with the wolves. Gotta focus, gotta focus, gotta focus. And the Timberwolves making a change here. 127 left in the third quarter. Towns, left side. Tips! Well, beautifully done by Towns, defense, using defense. the up fake to bait defense. the defender. Ah. That free throw, no good. 
Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city uh, is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. Pass to Najee. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Doris, the Timberwolves have made consecutive playoff appearances. That's a win for this team. Well, when you consider that hadn't been done in this organization going all the way back to 2004, it does show they are moving in the right direction. The next step, obviously, they have to win a series. Here's Anderson. Kept alive. Towns. And it's Towns with the power finish. Excellent pursuit by Towns right there. Get to work on the glass. To the inside. Here's Chanchar. Outside Holiday. And there's a pick. Six to shoot. Pass to Brown. Back to Holiday. Fires the three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Towns, left side. Double team on Towns. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Wow, shit, the defense. Come on, bro. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Up top, Reed. Yet to see a basket. Here's Brown. And too long on the shot. Listen, if you're that wide open, you have to take the shot, even if it's not your favorite. And so it's Denver, uh. ending the quarter up 10. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Yeah, yeah. Whew. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. The Lakers will be traveling in to face them after this one. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Good work there as it goes. John Char's got his first two points of the night. Throughout the second half, they've achieved excellent efficiency on the offensive end. Edwards can't hit. But the perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Here's the three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Brown's got himself on the board with a three there. He drops yet another dive. Ah, just facilitating damn. this offense like a maestro. Holiday with the ball. Picked up by Reed. Here's Brown. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Back to Edwards. It's rebounded by Naji. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Pass to Brown. Out of bounds, the Timberwolves will take it. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And Grant, the Nuggets are in uncharted territory this year. They are the defending champs. Yeah, B.A. I mean, they'll have a target on their back all season. They retain most of their talent and core. And with Jokic leading the way, they remain favorites to repeat. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. He said, keep it going, guys. Ride this wave of momentum. We're playing great right now, oh my but we Lord. can't let up. Guys, back to you. Allie, thank you. Now a timeout called by Denver. Lord Grant, it's obvious who's been in control of this game. You know, you really have to appreciate their relentlessness. Murray for three. Oh, wow. Why you the him? contact, oh, and that three God. almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It goes on Mike Conley. 
Well, you got to say, Doris, in the last few years, we've seen fantastic MVP races in the league. What we have seen, B.A., is several players, not one or two, but several players play at an MVP level in multiple seasons. And to me, that adds intrigue to the end of the season. The race has really gone up to the final couple weeks of the season. Uh, just high level basketball, and you love that it's that competitive. Here's Jokic, and it's Gobert with a rebound. Here's Edwards, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul of the game. Yeah, he was ready for the hop step all the way. He gets the position, holds his ground, and draws the charge. Pass to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. And dunking it with authority uh -huh. inside. Uh -huh. This is why Jokic guys look to feed him down there. The kick out to Edwards. Yes, great play by Connolly to set it up. Edwards got 19 Even points. Defeat, I like what my team doing. Man. Sometimes like my it's team simple. Doing. Put the ball in the hands of your scores and let them do what they do best. And Towns has got the ball here for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Trailing by 13. That's all, that's all, that's all. That's all. And that one's good from Conley. Well, Mike Conley has proven a consistent three-point shooter in his career. Get a hand up, folks. More coming, more coming. To the middle. Ah. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Pass to Towns. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's 6 of 9 tonight. Well, unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. Spins. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. And the Timberwolves call time here. They're down by 12. A minute 42 left to play in the fourth quarter. We learned something in this game, though. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. McDaniels with it. And Jokic picks him up ah, defensively. Come on. Outside Murray. Pass to Porter. There's the triple. And Jamal Murray hits from deep. Murray's gotten four this quarter. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Nuggets. Their unbelievable shooting was probably the biggest difference tonight, but they also got stops. Their great effort on both ends. Now, they worked for good shots, and they were stingy defensively as well, but just really impressive. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Nikola Jokic. Like what I'm saying, what he well, I thought his best work was his pursuit of the basketball. He competed for every Aye. rebound, fought for position in the game, and man. never stopped working. I love I'm it. This dude right here, but, uh, they got a I big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Edwards ah. can't hit. Yeah, how the hell you don't? And they're so close to putting this game away. Yeah, B.A., you don't have to do anything crazy. Just run the clock and don't turn it over. Shot is up. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. And the Timberwolves with possession here. A 12-point game. Back to Daniels. Up top, Edwards. Drives to the hoop. Oh, he misses the dunk. Fires from the wing. No good. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. Good game, good game, good game, good game. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go back in. We lose one game, we get dropped back down to tier one. Ah, shit. Yeah, I like what I'm saying with the wolves. Come on. 
Uh, old boy with just a little more skill with his shots. Uh, we got the Bulls. We're going up against Mike Munns 4, and he is a PS5 guy. I'm a PS5 guy too, but right now we're balling on the Xbox Series X, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, right here, really fuck it. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to it, baby. And we've been. See a little lag. Hope that just. That's nothing. Waiting for oh. this day for a long time. It's opening day. We're in the town, baby. We're NBA. In town. Thanks everyone for joining us here in the start of a oh, new season. Doing, Mr. Levine, man. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg I'm Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. We've got the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Chicago Bulls. Now here's DeRozan. Over Towns. On the what? wing, Levine. Now, here's Ball. Here's DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down. And when Ball has the ball, it's in good hands. He can run the offense, no doubt. Incredibly for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Clark, the 2004 playoffs are the only time they've won a series. You know, Kevin, with Kevin Garnett, they had a few 50-win teams and some excellent coaches. That just tells you, I think, how hard it is to win in this league. Levine's shot is off. And that was a little bit of a range. Oh, y'all, can we get this dub, baby? Can we get this dub? Can we bounce back, man? Pick for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Uh, he putting Russo on the bench? I guess he wanted he wanted to deal with the bigs. I got yeah, he doesn't make sense. Pass to McDaniels. Out to Golly. Now here's Towns. Let's see. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That is his first foul of the game. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And the dunk by Towns. Virtually no way to stop Towns. He's extremely dangerous that close to the bucket. Outside DeRozan. Drummond the screen. And Levine, here we go. Pass to Drummond. On the wing, Levine. Five on the clock. Shoots from 12. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Timberwolves on offense. And going against Chicago, their first game of the NBA's regular season. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find in the NBA. Split the season series down the middle, one apiece. Yeah, this is really tight. I mean, it's splitting hairs when you talk about these teams. You get the feeling if they play 10 games, each side would win five. All right. Levine. And the jam by Levine. Hey, when you can beat people off the dribble, you've got something going for yourself. I mean, Levine showing that great burst. As to Edwards. Ah. Here in the I'm first, it, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Good D by Drummond. In the corner, it's Levine. Again, Levine missing. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. And that one's good, Towns. Towns has yeah, got ball six. Out, ball out. And Greg, when we tip off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. 
sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. Here's Caruso. After the made shot from Carl Anthony Towns. Prize from 16. Caruso, no good. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Conley. Ah, he with the rebound. That. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. It's stolen by Gobert. Down low. Here's Conley. Oh, Chicago the grabs the miss. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Timberwolves leading by four. And with Towns, we're looking at one of the best three-point shooting big men in the NBA, Clark. He is something to watch. He really is. And when you add in everything else he does, though. Kevin, he's one of the best players in the league, period. Now the Bulls with it. To the paint. Here's to Rosen. And the rejection by Towns. Over in the corner, Edwards. Outside Conley. Right side Towns. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Outside Levine. To the inside. Here's to Rosen. The foul, and the foul, the, call the foul, the foul. On the shot, the foul. It sends him to the line. Great foul. DeRozan has that old school game, a throwback wing. He's not just a three-point chucker, and that makes him a different kind of matchup. So both teams my making some on, changes here. On right now. Going to was on the bench getting rest. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. LGA for the Bulls. It's been a struggle to find consistency the past few seasons. It's been a one step forward, one step back kind of situation. They don't need to set their sights on a title yet. They just have to establish that winning culture. Shot clock at six. For three, Edwards. That's all, that's all, that's all. Jamar DeRozan grabs ah. the board. Here's Craig. Craig. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Timberwolves. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Now, here's Milton. And here's Anderson for three. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's all, that's all. That's all. Alive, Minnesota. Back to Reed. Outside, Edwards. Second shot opportunity. A foul it. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Edwards does not do back down. Even it. if it means taking physically hard contact, he's fearless. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that at first break. overall hype. He has been Two spectacular. Shot. Yeah, he has been, Kevin. I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good a number one pick as any of them, and he's certainly proven to be worthy of that stat. Ah. That free throw missing. Yeah, hey, Greg, to touch on the Bulls for a moment, defense has been an emphasis for them. It has, and they went through several years playing subpar D. And it cost them. They began to turn things around a couple seasons ago, and it has served them well. And he's good on the second. Clark, last season, Minnesota's talent was undeniable. But the results, uh, the results weren't there. You know what, Kevin? They just had trouble puzzling all the pieces together. I mean, 
This season wasn't a failure by any means, but the outcome didn't match the high expectation. A three from Anderson. Here's Reed. Let's go! And he makes no yeah, mistake on the slam dunk. I tell you what, he is one guy you do not. Suck, baby. That's us. Mike Mun. He gone, y'all. He gone. Let's go. That's how you bounce back from my L, man. That's how you bounce back from my L. Whoo. The record is not pretty. I repeat, the record is not pretty, but it's a record. All right, so it's going to be dangerous, man, because if nobody's in Tier 3, 2K every year, I wish they would fix this shit, but they ain't, they're not. They probably can't fix it. But every time you get to Tier 3 and they can't find nobody that's in the same tier, they're going to throw you in there with a Tier 1 team. So I, I might be using a weak-ass Hornets team going up against LeBron, Anthony Davis, Basically, all the top teams, man. So, let's see. I'm going to stop thinking negative, but I've been playing this game for, for for years, man. Once they implemented this tier thing, that's when they can't find nobody in that same division, man. They're going to match you up with some tier one competition. And these guys, whether they good or bad, they're going to destroy you because they got a better team. All right, can the Hornets stop Victor? That is the question, because we might see a lot of Victor in this division, and I don't have two bigs. I don't have two bigs. Uh, this might be a team to use. Are you bullshitting? Kyle and um, Jordan Poole. All right, so... We'll see, how they, we'll see how I feel with the Hornets, man. I'm trying to see. Spurs, Brooklyn. No, I don't want to use Brooklyn. But Brooklyn part of a beast, though. Bridges and then Witty. Johnson. Uh, we're going to try the Hornets, man. See can we, what we can do, man. When I say we, I mean me. See, uh, we got a, we got a normal team. Okay, we got a normal team. All right, cool. Uh, let's see, cats. Let's see if we going what colors he gonna use. Spurs City. We go right here with it. <clears throat> All right, man. I was having a bad time with this game, man. But I went and somebody showed me the way, man. So push is the Visual cue to use. Push. Uh, we're going up against Beast Ninja. He's on PS5 crossplay. I'm on Xbox Series X. I have 2K on PS5. But I ain't playing it right now until I get my headset situated. Because I can't. My headset not sinking to the base, man. This is it. Open it. Uh, so. Okay, okay. Uh, that's, that's it, man. We don't win this shit. We get bumped back down to the beginning. But it's all right, because we, we got experience now. We know what we're doing right now. When we first started the game. Y'all see I couldn't shoot for, for save my life, man. So. Day, the regular season is set Push. to begin. And I we're use. thrilled to bring you all the live action right here oh, let's on go. 2K Sports. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Oh. Last game, a tough loss for them in Miami. Van Vliet outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Out gate. Out gate. And down. here's Rogier who brings it up for Charlotte. Well, they don't make many guards, do they? Doris is fiery as Fred Van Vliet. Ah. They don't, right, Kevin. He team has team had team to team scrap team and team claw team. and earn every piece of real estate three, in the three, NBA. Three. At right six foot three. one, he's undersized. Buck. But what we know unequivocally, he can command an offense, and he's Another a big three. time shot maker when it counts. And guess what? He's going to dig it out defensively, too. You have to admire Fred Van Vliet. Run a baby daddy right there. Bridget run a baby daddy. So the daddy. Houston Rockets get the first points of the ball game. Rejected by Van Vliet. 
And perfect positioning from Van Vliet. Oh. Wanting to block shots whenever he can. Great instincts. And the three off target. Pass to Williams. No one near Rogier as he lets. Let's fight, baby. Let's fight. 2K, baby. This might be my year. I just got to get my shots down. And we might can kind that down leaderboard like back in the day, man. My best season in 2K, I forgot what year it is. It's on my channel, but I had over 500 wins, man. 500 ranks. About about the basket is good off the assist from Williams. How about the lightning quick release from Terry Rozier? Wow. Ah! Out to Brooks. Three. Three. And they come right back with their three. own three-pointer. Three uh -huh. Brooks has got six. What do you do? The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Here's Ball. Ah, all that for that. Nice D from Brooks. Good defense. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. That's miscommunication, yeah, and we better. rarely see that happen. First time using these boys, man. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Williams looking around. The kick out to Ball. And Ball gets double team. Come on. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Washington. Back to Ball. Rogier for three. Charlotte with the new shot clock. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Oh, I don't know nothing about the Hornets, man. I don't know nothing about these new guys on the Hornets. And the first one drops. And the last couple of years, no. Doris Charlotte has really picked up the pace. I think, Kevin, that's to place an emphasis and try to bring out the best of uh, LaMelo Ball, who focus, flourishes focus, focus, in that focus, exact focus. kind of environment. Brilliant passer, wants to be dynamic in transition. Right, I think it's a smart choice. And game one of the NBA season, Greg, is here. Does everyone get butterflies, or is it just me? No, I'm, I'm right there with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like open at night. Shot clock at six from deep. Green. Wow. And another yes, three for Houston. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Green knows that he yes, needs sir. to take and make threes at a good clip. Nice shot there. Out to Miller. Pass to Rozier. Two free throws it's coming tough. up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Dylan Brooks. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Rockets. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, he yeah and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Pass to Shengun. Screen by Shengun. Out to Smith. Back to Shengun. And right. Shengun throws it down. And, you know, the more you watch Smith, the more you marvel at his feel for the game. Rozier for three. Oh, they couldn't give me that. It's rebounded by oh, Houston. Brooks with the bounce pass. And the call will be against LaMelo oh, Ball. That's his first foul. So both teams changing it up here. 139 left to play in the first. Pass to Smith from outside the arc. Rebound by Williams. Hornets trail by four. And it's Miller in the corner. Five to shoot. Hayward outside. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Charlotte again missing. Rockets leading by four. Outside, Green. 
And Green slams it in. Look at Green just taking off and throwing it down right in the face of the defense. Now, here's Rogier. Can't get it to fall. You know, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's shot, see if shot, he can shot. eventually get back Good on shot. track. Boy, that one was not easy. Every once in a while, you just make a tough shot. Rogier for three. Buries it from three-point range. Rogier's got six points. How about that triple drive move from Jerry Rozier? That handle is tight, folks. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And stolen by Miller. To the paint. And then Washington with the dunk. And not just the score. Miller can dish it as well, showing great vision on that play. Pass to Eason. And here is Green. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, good job to take it right at the beat. The Rockets shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Shit right now, baby. You're a better shooter than me right now, but I'm getting better. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And once the G League took it to another level, Green ah. Skip College became the number two overall pick of the draft. Yeah, yeah, just focus. And that's yeah. really changed the landscape. Oh, focus. we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. The Rockets on top. They lead by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And the Rockets hiring of Coach Udoka brought a lot of optimism, it seems, to the fan base. Yeah, Houston oh, has had a damn. rough go in recent years. And Yudoka took the Celtics to the NBA Finals in his long season as head coach. They're not expecting that kind of success right away, but they're hopeful he can turn things in the right direction. Here's Richards. Here's Martin. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Fight him back. Fight the dude back, man. Fight well, him back, you love baby. the Fight unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific setup guy as well. Porter in the corner. Let's the three fly. Sinks the triple. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up got to fight over it as a defender. Yeah, you you know it, exactly sir. what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes hey, intensity. Oh. Just can't find a shot. It's no wonder they're losing. I mean, he's been completely scoreless all night. Here's Thompson. The rebound by Richards. Hornets trail by five. Hayward on the wing. There's the three. He doesn't hit that one. Get the rebound, dude. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. And the wide open shot from Green. And another three for Houston. And Green's become a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Rockets have brought in Ime Adoka to help their team become a winner. Ime said, we have a lot of guys that have a chip on their shoulder. Those are the types I look for. And from there, we want to cultivate that into team success. That's the job of a coach, to push that and get that out of them. Kevin? It is. Good thought. All right, David, thank you. Oh, my God. Thanks. Ball, no good. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. They get it back. Pass to Landale. To the middle. Nice hit again. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. 
this stuff. Glendale's got the lead up to 10 now for the Rockets. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Uh. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Out to Hayward. Here's Washington. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, suddenly taking the next step. What can key that lead? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas Sorry. Sorry. to try new things. Sorry. Sorry. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could oh, get on. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. The set. And then right Washington with the dunk. And just a right terrific right effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And great. A dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. Six-point game. He went out of bounds. And they're starting off this season against this Houston Rockets team. Not exactly a game that everyone will be talking about here, but both of these teams can show flashes at times. We're seeing two teams that could be building more for the future, trying to instill a winning culture, and we'll see which team takes a step in that direction. And the length of green is a real issue for the dude. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second worst record. They expect a different outcome this go around. Yeah, their veteran additions, the headline, uh, my friend, PJ, Lee, on, key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. And the shot is good. Green's got seven points in the game. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. And the basket by Rozier. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Outside green. Driving in. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Be a nice, strong there nearly a three-point opportunity Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter as we've gotten closer to halftime their style has become more and more physical yeah you can see the impressive vertical of Lamelo. this guy gets to the cup and slams it home inside Landale Eason gets a wide open look. Knocks down the three ball. Eason's got himself on the board with three there. There's Miller with the three. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. You can see how much Green's worked on his defense. He's become a tough one-on-one -on -one matchup. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Uh. <clears throat> Hornets trail by 10. Pass to Rozier. Three-pointer. Uh. Rebound uh. by Smith. And Van Vliet. Here we go. From deep, Brooks. And another three for Houston. Uh, pay, man. like pay, that yeah. have typified uh. their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Rozier for three. It's rebounded by Houston. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but, boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end 
is off the charts. If you leave a teammate of LaMelo Ball that wide open, I promise you, he will find him. The train and Jalen Green gets the three. Mm -hmm. Green's got okay. the lead up to 14 now for the Rockets. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, open. continue to build your lead. Miller with the ball. Picked up by Van Vliet. Got that one up quick. Rozier's got 14 points for the game. Rozier in a real rhythm offensively, and that's problematic for the defense. At the top of the key, Brooks. Houston moving the ball around. Green fires from way outside. And again, it's the Rockets oh, from deep. It, Mike, killing it. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell shot. And the Hornets call time here. Ooh. I don't know what's in using this. I like, I like what the Hornets doing, though. I really don't. Hornets trail by 15. Outside Williams. Looks for Miller. Gets it to him. Pass the ball. Down low. Fires from deep. Rebound by Smith. And here are the Rockets now. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. To the inside. Here's Landale. And good pass right there from Smith Jr. His Let's teammates uh, appreciate that selflessness. Rozier for three. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Pass to Eason. No good on the three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And the basket by Rogier. We've really seen Rogier improve his shot selection over time. The efficient nature with which he does things now. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. And when it comes to the Charlotte Hornets, DB, this is a squad that wants to keep getting better, clearly. Kevin, it shows you how challenging success and sustained success in particular is. This is an organization that has had pockets of success in the past. But the keys to this are, are you drafting well? Are you developing young talent? Have you built out a culture? Do you have top-down leadership that trickles through an organization? This is something Charlotte Man, has to think about. Mm. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Now, LaMelo Ball is young, but he certainly has words of wisdom already. Uh, he says, damn. everybody always asks me, what's yeah, my slogan? Yeah, yeah, Two man. words. Be you. You just got to be you from the jump, and whatever's supposed to happen is going to happen. If you ain't you, you're already lost. That's a fact. Kevin? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. More than comfortable in his own skin. Yeah, we can David, loaded, thank man. you. We're going back now to the beginning. Let's go, though. Let's go. Big right. miscommunication right. on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. All right, after this going game, we're going to end the stream. There. And, that's um, the kind of aggressive one. play you love to see from Smith. There's Ball with the three. Good D by Thompson. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. We're going, we're going. Defensively, we're going you have strain. to live with Thompson making those, because if you get up too close at the arc, Amon will blow right by you. I'll tell you, you That's hate it. to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the like offensive end are holding this group back. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both uh, ends. Terrific uh, focus on offense, and they're locked I'm in sorry, defensively. Sam, I'm sorry. Please don't boo me. And Please so it's the Houston Rockets. Don't boo me. 
And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Right, so we got three games for Boston. Game with the Wolves, and then we got to find a team. We might, we might stick, stick with the Hornets. Man. Outside just, Porter. Nice stuff with somebody to know how to play the game. They can shoot. Green, the screen. Out to Thompson. Mm -hmm. And he gets the bucket. Sure. Nine points from a man right Johnson. Here, he with the whole team. Uh, and the there's a here. pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Three pointer, Martin. Porter pulls it in. And so it's Houston with it. They get to take on the Magic in Orlando after this one. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Bridges, no one around him. Oh, Dude, good with the threes, triple. Threes. Uh, I, mean, I ain't even paying attention. I'm just... Pass to Whitmore. Now, here's Green. Out to Thompson. There's Porter with the three. The shot, no good. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Count it good. I might, I might, well, I might the great stick with length and the great size of the backcourt, Lamelo yeah, Ball continues to improve as an well, interior game, they scorer. Not, not they kick it out to Green. Three. Down low. And some nice passing there by Houston. Nice. Shingun with the bucket. <clears throat> That's their third straight make off an assist. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Martin wide oh. open. He fires. Wide open, Martin. You make and that it's shot, off Martin. from three point range. Here's Whitmore. Good and a nice assist from Porter. An old school shot from Whitmore. There is still some value in that mid range. Ball with a wide open look. It's good from Gotta long range. Shots. Gotta learn y'all shots. And he man. is starting to turn it on now after that slow Hello, start. Tired of there. Pass to Green. Green, the screen. Inside. Get on, Get on him. Shen Gu, the bounce pass. Front. Four on the clock. Houston needs to get a shot off. Quarter outside. Ball with the rebound. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. Three-pointer, Hayward. And another three for Charlotte. Well, this is why it's important that Gordon Hayward continue to space the floor. When he's hitting from distance, boy, it unlocks every aspect of his game. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. They kick it out to Green. And a miss there on the triple. And they go to the intentional foul. And the NBA Doris removing Can't the end, limit man. on the number of Supermax contracts that one team can have. Why is that? Well, that I think some that. teams on course to have three Supermax guys just the way their players are growing. Oh. And the league opted for more nuanced ways to discourage big payrolls. Outside green. Driving to the basket. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Outside Green. That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Ah. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Rockets. It was a standout oh. performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games Ooh. ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Jalen Green. Every time there was a big possession or a big play, he was a major contributor. Just a great all-around game. Houston making a switch here. Uh, we're going to start another stream after this one second. I'm going to have to make y'all watch no five-hour video. 
44 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Green. Good for another bucket. He's wow. made half a dozen now. Yeah. Six for eight on the night. Well, Melo Tad is here. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, yeah, they've rebound, done huh? that and then some. Pass to Brooks. From the high post. No good off the back of the rim. And here's Charlotte. Rogier for three. No ah. good that time. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Good shot, good shot, good and shot, this is shot. where you hope that he can good find shot. something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Come on, DeRosa. I need you. I need you out there. Here's ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Dylan Brooks. LaMelo Ball, a guy who is so unique in terms of his frame and the game, but boy, the potential is limitless. That one is no good. Ah. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. So we see the Rockets huh? taking the win here. To come into an opponent's Thank building and dominate in, the way they did tonight one. says, I think, Greg, an awful lot strength. about this team. I, I guess they we'll don't need to home cooking one. to feel <laughs> at home. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. All right, we got to really kick back down to the beginning. Yep. All right. Can we turn this shit around? Let me see if I got any friends playing this shit. Nope. Alright, we're gonna stop it and start it right back up, man.